It's the last day of the weekly challenge. I think we have a tight one on our hands, folks. We haven't had too many swingy type boards, except for, I would say boards five and six, and maybe board one are the questionable results on this one. We're playing imps, we're playing best hand scenarios, so we do have the best hand at the table, and we see an interesting auction right away. Pass one heart to you. What would you do with this hand, peeps? So my thoughts are I usually want to have a six-card suit when I make a two-level overcall. Uh, my other thoughts are I wish they opened a club so I could make a nice takeout double, but I don't have that luxury. They, they opened what they opened. Uh, I would either pass or I would bid two diamonds. I think in a real spot, I would more tend to pass and see if I could come in later. Um, in a robot best hand situation, I'm just going to get in and bid two diamonds. Uh, and <laughs> so it goes heart raised to our left and then three hearts by partner, which is just awful. Uh, I hate three hearts so much because, I mean, they're, they're forcing us to the four level. And I, I certainly don't want to play diamonds anymore. I'm going to bid three no Trump. I'm hoping partner passes. Thank you, partner. Okay, good. So at least our hearts aren't worthless now. In diamonds, they were going to be particularly bad for us. Uh, and the reason is uh, partner has shortness, and we have seven points in their suit. So luckily, luckily, we found a good way to uh, to this contract. And now we just need to be careful about what we pitch from dummy. Uh, I'm going to pitch a club because guess what, folks? Those clubs are not going to end up being tricks, I promise you. Uh, only one might be a trick. And, and now we have a beautiful situation they've hopped up with the king so count your winners count your winners folks what do you have i would count eight how do i get to eight folks how do i know diamonds are fine i know diamonds are fine because the worst case scenario is they're breaking four zero and if i cash the ace or the queen of diamonds first right and this is the divorce the couple situation when you have ace, king, queen, and two sides of the table. Always cash the honor from the side that has two first. And that way, if you're getting a terrible break, you will realize it right away, and you'll be able to finesse in either direction. So I know I have three hearts. I know I'm going to take five diamonds. That's eight tricks. I need one more. Where am I going to get it? Easy game, isn't it? And it's imps, folks. We just need one more. The only thing we're worried about now is a club switch, but a heart's, yeah, heart is so likely coming back that we just get to boom, boom. And now the last piece of the puzzle, cash the diamond first. Bad break, we finesse. Good break, we're magic here. We play the king of diamonds. Uh-oh, we might have screwed up. We did. Oh, no, we didn't. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Watch this. I, I thought I might have blocked myself, but we're fine, folks. Uh, what, what we might worry about here, or what I was worried about for just a moment, and I, for, I did kind of think about this earlier, so I'm okay. Um, when we play the 10, we're going to have to win the queen. And then, because the jack is still out there. And then we're going to be stuck with that nine and dummy. So you might think, oh, no, that's terrible. We're going to be blocked over there. But we have a solution. It's a pretty fun one. We're going to cash some clubs for sure. This is the last time we're going to be over in dummy. So now we play the 10 of diamonds and overtake it with the queen. And now to avoid the blocking situation in diamonds, we have a nice elegant play where we cash our queen of hearts and pitch away a diamond, get out of our own way, and now we get to cash our diamonds freely here. And then we'll just be watching for what the opponents are throwing. I think that's a good time to try a spade there. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they have enough left, and our heart is just gone. All right, so we'll take that. All right, we will take a weird plus 430 on this. And I, I think the, the overcall of two diamonds gets – wow, look at this hand we're starting with. Uh, the overcall of two diamonds just gets partner to a game, a game-forcing situation, and luckily we convince them to pass three no trump. Uh, five diamonds would be, wow, terrible. <laughs> so we, we did very well to get there. And understand the power of counting your winners and knowing what to do, folks. Right, This is a hand where just paying attention – and knowing you have this number of winners means you just need to create one more. And even if they switch to spades, the worst case, they can take three tricks, right? And we're still okay. All right, we'll take our nine. All right, let's see the next one. And the last one. Wow. Uh, this is going to take a, a little time. 23? 7 and 14, 18, 19, 23. Okay, so this is a two clubs slash two no Trump rebid. And thank you. Thank you, Robot, for bidding normally. Okay. What's three hearts? Pause it if you need it. 
to transfer. It's the same as it would be over an opening bid of two no Trump folks. And that's because this auction, two clubs, two diamonds, two no, is essentially just a, a, a way to get back to a normal no Trump range. And what we've shown is 22 to 24 balanced and partner is now transferring. And think about it, when this auction happens, we need transfers to be available way more often here because partner is so exceptionally strong in this situation. So now comes a, a choice that you might have in match points. If you were playing match points, you might consider passing three no Trump if you think you can make more, more tricks or the same amount of tricks in no Trump because you'll be rewarded with a better score. But in imps, this is totally irrelevant. If we take the same number of tricks, we get the same exact score in imps, so we just pass. I mean, we get different scores, but the result is the same. And here, we are very happy to bid four spades and play it safely, even though if we see that three no Trump could make the same number of tricks, are we upset? No, we don't care because we understand that it's imps. If we take the same number of tricks, it is the same imp score. It's a zero imp swing. So here, what do we do? Well, the first question you should ask yourself before drawing Trump is, do I need to Trump anything in the hand that has short Trumps? And the answer here is no, right? You don't need to Trump anything in the hand that has short Trumps. So what does that usually mean? It usually means it's time to draw Trump right away. And we're going to do that pretty efficiently here, getting a bad break. And another way I would count this is uh, when I get a bad break and I have eight, it's a 4-1 break. So I need to draw four rounds of Trump. Boom, boom. All right, so we're going to play some hearts and throw away one of our losers in dummy. It is not going to matter which loser we throw away usually. All right, so I'm going to throw a diamond, but notice a club could be fine as well. Uh, I don't know if the heart is good. I don't think it is. But the beauty is I'm not really paying attention. As you know, I'm not counting on this hand because I know I don't have to because the tricks are just there. And if this heart is good, I'm going to test it out at the very last moment. I'm not. And it's not, by the way. But if I'm not sure of it, I just get to sit back and take a look at the very end after taking all of my tricks. And let's see if we took all of our imps. How would we do? Oh, we won. Nice. Board four was the winner, folks. Yeah, we love it. And look at that. Board three, the robot went down extra tricks. And board one, the robot got the game. So we were way behind at the very beginning. We caught back up. Uh, two big results here. Board four, passing that two spades doubled. Our, our robot uh, counterparts got to three no their side, but they couldn't make it. And here, think about it. If they could have made it, maybe we're getting spades one more trick for plus 500, right? So so in this case, that vulnerability swing was really, really quite good for that board. And, and let me remind you of, of this one, folks. Uh, this is board five right here. All right, so board five, we just decided, oh, sorry, board four. This is board four right here. We decided to pass two spades doubled, and it ended up being really good because we just couldn't make a game anywhere. So we knew that one was going to be a nice swing, and it did end up being a nice swing. This one, the robot went down extra tricks, and I, I, it's so funny. During, during this hand, folks, I mentioned to you that when you feel bad, it always feels bad to go down too. Just recognize the the opponents all around the room. Usually more, this, these hands get played like 12 times. They're all going to have struggles in this, and some of them will do worse. And here, that's exactly what happened on this. The uh, the robot did much worse. They went down two extra under tricks on this one. And then on board eight, we took one over trick above them. So I want to see what they did on board one. I got to check it out here. So let's let's jump over there, and I just I want to see their actual result here. So I'm just going to share the other table with you, and let's see it. Um, so yeah, they bid two diamonds with this. Sorry, I'm, I'm putting this on the wrong sc screen here. Uh, so here it went a hard and no Trump in, and you can understand why the robot would bid two diamonds. They, they can't bid two spades because it's a reverse, but they know that they have a maximum, right? They have a 15 high card point hand. So they were worried about passing two diamonds because they may have a game. Here, because my partner was a past hand, I chose, okay, we're fine with this. And now when North bids two spades, that's the impossible two spade bid. It's pretty awesome. Uh, this just shows a good diamond raise. Uh, South bids three spades, which is just patterning their hand out. And then North just gets to a bad three no, right? And they just can't make it, luckily. For us, or excuse me, they get to a really good three. No, I forgot. This is the amazing three. No, that has the jack of spades, jack of clubs, doubletons. Let's see what they led. Oh, they led a heart anyway, so it doesn't matter. So watch this. It goes queen. They do hop ace and king, 
And now it looked like they were going to fall back on diamonds if this didn't work out. But they're like, oh, thank you very much. That is an easy hand to play. So we appreciate that. Uh, so this one, okay, we'll take that. But really, I think this was a great match for us because we, we figured maybe we had a little problem here. And where else did we think we might have a problem? Oh, board six. I would guess the robot played that the same exact way as well. Let's find out. Um, board six, the other table. Did they play spades right away? Oh, no, we want the previous deal here. So it went heart, same, club. Wow, they played clubs first. That's kind of crazy. Oh, no, and then they played spades. There we go. And cash, ace of diamonds. So again, robot took... Robot took almost the same line we did, except they cashed King of Clubs for some reason, um, which, you know, maybe that that could be right in some spot. But at this point, once they unzip the spade suit, it's over, right? We've created that. We've created the setting trick, basically. And at this moment, there it is. Yeah. And we, we got to the same position at our table after, you know, maybe a slightly different line. But the, the concepts are the same. We tested it out, and we didn't get there. We'll take a plus two win in these. Uh, and I have to say... Uh, I think the robots have improved from from day one, right? And, and we've done this almost a year straight, or maybe a, it's got to be close to a year that I've started these. So, so at this point, uh, I, it feels like the robots have incrementally improved um, because we were kind of blowing them out at the very beginning, and it's it's kind of evened out. Maybe, maybe I'm just declining in my skill set. I don't know, but it seems like in in sets like this, especially that are that don't have a ton of swings in them, they rate to be super close. In in other situations where there's you know some some skill or some weird auctions that might happen, we we tend to have an edge, or or if we get to preempt aggressively, and anytime we open weird no trumps, which to be honest, I have shied away from. Uh, for quite a while, as you've noticed, I'm playing very, very down the middle and vanilla in these events because I want to show you the right way to play. Um, if I feel I'm really behind, I can start shooting, and that's where you can get some really skewed results. But that can also go terribly wrong for you as well. So to avoid all of that, we've been pretty down the middle, and that's produced, you know, still I think we're we're way ahead in the in the victory count, but it feels like it's a closer match now. Uh, and, and when we play different things, like the Just Declares, I challenge you, play the robot in any just declare tournament, you'll have a tough time winning because they just don't mess up in that scenario. They just know they know too much in, the, in those spots. So uh, always a fun challenge, and I'll see you back here for next week's challenge, which will be 47. We're almost to 50, which is amazing. And uh, that's it. just all the content that's there for you. So if you're just new to this event, folks, jump back in. There's tons of stuff to, to look at and uh, learn from. So I'll see you back here for next week and right at bridgelesson.com. Don't forget the weekend games are running. We have a Friday duplicate game where I will give you the results stream on YouTube. Uh, I run through all 12 boards that you play in a duplicate event, so jump into that. You do not really have to sign up in advance. You can just sign up on the day on Bridgebase, and the instructions are in the results uh, or in the description this one. And then the weekend pro-am, as usual, every weekend right on BBO. And you just sign up one time for that on bridgelesson.com. I'll leave the link right here for you as well. So I'll see you then, folks.